In this video, I'm going to have you look at how to create a rayogram, a rayograph, um, or a photogram, whatever we'd like to call them. Um, so this is my original image after I cropped it, and this is how I created my rayograph. So I'm going to go back in my steps and kind of show you how to do this. Um, first of all, I cropped it. I really wanted to show that nice patterning and repetition of circles. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my um, layer adjustments, which is that black and white circle, and I'm going to make it black and white. I know I said we'd start working in color, but in black and white, um, you're just able to obviously create what looks more like a uh, rayograph. So here's your black and white layer. The next one I'm going to choose is I'm going to go to threshold. Now, I know this didn't work for mine, but what threshold does is it really kind of increases just those pure blacks and whites, um, kind of almost makes it like a, you know, like a stencil or something like that. So if you want to use threshold to kind of bring out certain elements, um, like here it brings out more of those lines if I increase the blacks. Um, so that may or may not work for you. It didn't work for me on my original, but we'll see what happens. Um, the next one I'm going to choose is invert. Now, invert does exactly what it says it does. It takes anything white, makes it black. Anything black makes it white. So we click on that, and there it is. Um, so it doesn't seem like a whole lot of change, but, you know, because I didn't have a whole lot of variance in it. But I'm going to hide my threshold, because remember I told you it wasn't really working for me. So anything you want to hide, you can just click on the eye. So this definitely looks a little bit more like a rheograph because you get more of that dimension. But I did lose some detail in those circles. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that black and white circle and choose curves. Okay, and I know when I click on this, I can, you know, increase um, my contrast, so on and so forth. So essentially, you, you know, I would say use your black and white, use your curves, work with um, invert if you need to add threshold. But you're going to have different adjustment layers. The one thing I want you to remember from this video um, is that the way that you order your adjustments could obviously bring a variance to your image. So let me show you what I mean. Um, so here's what I think I like with my image. But based on where I place my adjustments, it may change. So I moved invert to the top over curves. Um, I can bring back my threshold. I can put that under invert. I can bring invert back under curves. I can put curves to the top. So as you see, different mixtures and arrangements of those layer adjustments um, will change it. Because what is happening is curves is adjusting everything below. Threshold is adjusting everything below that. Invert is adjusting everything below that. So that's how it kind of works. Whatever's on the top is going to mess with everything below it. Um, there's different clipped adjustment layers and things we can look at. You know, that's kind of a more advanced thing. But um, I think that this is definitely what I was going for. Um, and it brought out what I needed. And it looks like a rayograph, rayogram, pictogram, whatever you want to call it. And um, it definitely shows repetition. So I am ready to turn this in for um, some mining. And there we are.